All right, everyone, welcome to um, the communications team tech peer group. Um, this is probably our third or fourth session now, and i um, glad you could join us. And tonight we're going to talk about um, Canva. And I don't know if you've heard about Canva. I've been hearing things on and off about it for about a couple of months now. I'm sure it's been around longer than that. And um, we actually have someone who's been working with it a lot as our um, presenter tonight. Her name is Emily Kripe, and she has been working on the social media team <clears throat> for us and happens to know or be able to demo some of the capabilities of Canva and perhaps ask your, answer your questions um, as well. So um, with that, do you wanna go ahead and take it away, Emily, and let me know if you wanna, um, if you want them to ask questions as you go or if you'd rather wait till the end or how you'd like to do it. Yeah, um, if anyone has a question, just put it in the chat for now and I can answer them at the end. I think that'll be the easiest, just so it flows a little bit better. Um, let me share my screen now. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm just gonna take everyone through Papa, jump on your couch. what Canva looks like and kind of how to get started. Um, there's a couple different ways you can go about starting something from this page here. So I'm just gonna do what I normally do. Um, I think someone is unmuted right now. So if you could make sure you're muted, that would help a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to find, okay, Nancy, I'm gonna mute her. Okay, we should be good. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the homepage. It's kind of overwhelming. There's lots of stuff there. Um, mainly, um, if you don't really know where you wanna start, you can go to the templates page and they have all of these really cute pre-made ones that you can go in and edit for any given holiday or event or advertisement you're trying to make. Um, so if that's more your speed, um, there's a templates page and then the projects page is where all of your stuff is going to be. So if you started something and you can't find it, it's probably on the projects page. This is like all the stuff that I do for the AUW California page. So that's what all of that is. Um, and so if you want to start a design, there's this nifty little create a design button up here. So you can click that and it'll ask you what kind of post you want to make pretty much. Usually, I think for today, we're just going to do a Facebook post, but this is kind of where you can choose, like if you want to make an Instagram story or an Instagram post, um, it'll fit the design to those proportions that are preset on the application that you're trying to make something for. Uh, so that's kind of why you have to choose. So for now, for this demo, we're going to do a Facebook post. Um, let me move this bar here that's in my way. Hold on. Okay. All right. So it starts you off with this beautiful blank slate. Um, and so on the left here, we have the templates page again. So you can go in and search for things that you want. Um, you can see I searched like Black History Month and all of these pre-made ones come up. You can click on them and edit the colors if you want. You can add the AUW logo if you want. Um, and I can show you how to do that in just a moment. Um, but for the sake of this demo, we're going to start from scratch just so you know how to do it if you want to do that. Um, so first of all, if you want to change the color of your background, which I'm sure you don't want a white background, um, you just click on it and this box here with the rainbow, this is how you change the background color. Um, so since I'm on the AUW Canva page, we have a preset palette with the colors that we want to use. Um, so I'm just going to go off of that. We're going to do this pretty blue color. <laughs> um, and so that's how you would make the background whatever color you'd like. Um, and next step, if you want to add any fancy stickers, there's this elements button here. They have frames that you can put photos in all types of different themed stickers like the one <laughs> you can see I used here for the Black History Month post. Um, and let's see here. Is anyone trying to talk to me? I hear I hear things. Okay. <laughs> I, I uh, muted. I think okay, I muted. Cool. So. Thank you. Um, 
And I realized I got ahead of myself there. You want text probably. So, <laughs> so you can either add a heading, subheading, or body text, or you can pick one of these fancy texts from down here and just edit them. Um, I usually don't use these because they're kind of more like loud than I want. Uh, so I have a couple of pre-selected fonts that I use for hours. So usually I just click add a heading. I'll type, let's make like a webinar type thing. I'll select it and go up here. We use this font. I don't want to mispronounce it, <laughs> but we use any kind of um, variation of this font because there's so many different um, bold faces of it. Um, so I kind of try to stick to the same kind of font so that uh, our feed looks more comprehensive and less confusing. Um, but you can do whatever you want. There's a lot of really fun. See, that one's cool. Um, there's a lot of really fun fonts on here that you can play with if you want to make your post a little bit more loud and such. Um, so that is how you add text. And if you wanted to add any fun stickers in there, um, I really like the frames. They kind of add an extra um, pop on there so you can find, let's click see all. So I just searched frames and these are all little shapes that you can add photos into. So like I've used this one before for a webinar post. It's like a little laptop. Um, and then, oh, this is just a gorgeous design that I'm creating here. <laughs> um, so once you have a frame on there, you can go to uploads. I have all these random pictures in here. Um, pretty much any picture you find on the internet, you can um, download it to your desktop and drag it onto here and it'll show up in your uploads. So these are all just random pictures I have in here. We'll use this one. You can drag it oh, and it will show up in your little frame. And if it's the wrong size, you can make it bigger by double clicking on it but that doesn't look good. So we're going to put it back. Yeah. And you can also change the color of the little laptop frame that we have here. Um, so it has the little color palette they used. If I want to make the frame red, I can do that. Um, so that's how you use that. That's one of my favorite little ones to use. Um, and I apologize for not making this a comprehensive design. I'm just trying to show everything that I can think of. Um, so another thing in the elements is they have little lines and shapes and such that you can kind of use to break up a design. So let's see here. Honestly, that's self-explanatory. Sorry, I'm kind of winging this. Um, and oh, also in uploads, if any of you have access to the AUW logo, this is where you would want to keep that down here. So that's where mine is. I always include this on my little Canva posts. You can put it anywhere. Just make sure it's big enough so people can read it easily. Um, since the of California on mine is so tiny, I try to make it a little bit bigger. And I usually will put it in the corner or in the bottom center or something. Um, but I always make it a point to add that in there. So if people repost it, they know where it came from. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna take you to one of my templates. I think that'll be a little bit easier. Oop, that's the wrong place. One second. So, no, <laughs> sorry. So I have a folder in this thing that I have shared with the social media team where we keep all of our little like base templates for so we have these for the meet the leaders campaign that we did um, so this is a really good example of like a cohesive design so and if you see yourself in any of these pictures um <laughs> you're welcome uh so what we did here was we have a big title in easy to read letters and a good color as well. You want a lot of contrast between the colors so that it's easier to read. Um, I could have made the logo a little bit bigger. That's the only thing there. 
Um, and I like to try to add shapes that are different colors to kind of break up the text and draw the eye. Um, and here with these photos, you see how they're in like these fun little shapes. I, I used a frame for that. So we know how to use frames. Um, and usually something important is that there's not a lot of text on these. So these are kind of text heavy, um, but they're informational. So you get a pass. Um, and I try to put a little call to action on everything that I make in terms of infographics. So this here at the bottom in the lighter blue color, meet the rest of our board by visiting our website. Um, so I always try to include something like that that plugs either the website or the organization in general. Um, learn more about AUW by visiting our Facebook page, something like that. Um, that's just a rule of thumb I try to stick by when I'm making these. Um, there's Raleigh. <laughs> yeah, so this is how I use Canva. I'm trying to think of any other things I can show you. Let me check the chat and see what I have here. Um, what? Ooh, licensing for images is a good question. Um, so I try to stick to images that are um, public domain. So that's going to be anything you can find on social media. Usually, um, if someone posted on their Instagram, it is public domain. Um, and there's this tool on Google I like to use when you go just to the Google search page on images. Um, you can filter it to have a Creative Commons license, um, which is public domain photos. Uh, usually that'll take your choices down to like slim to none, but uh, it's safer to use license unlicensed photos. Um, so, and then there's also a couple of websites that I like to use, like um, I'll type them into the chat for you. So Creative Commons is a good one and Pixabay is another good one. Um, so those are two places to find images that are unlicensed for you to use um, without fear of being sued by some random person. Um, let's see. Should the AUW logo be only certain colors? Are the AUW approved colors on the California or national website? Good questions. Um, so I try to make the logo the same color on all of my posts just for continuity reasons um again it makes it all complement each other um it's a little bit more cohesive um i was emailed that logo in that white color so that's just what i use um but i would in for, based on my preferences i personally would use one that is the same color every time um so I would say it should be only a certain color, um, but I don't think there's any rule about that or anything. Um, as In terms of the approved colors, um, I don't think they're on the website or anything. I can share um, on Canva, each kind of color has a color code. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so if you hover your cursor over the color, it has the pound sign and then C23A09. That's the color code for that red color. You can type it in this search bar up here at the top and it'll show you that color. Um, so this is the only place I know to find these approved colors because they were already here when I signed on to the Canva um, when I first was given this position. Um, but if you want to, I can I can email these color codes so you all have access to them and can add them to your color palette um that is a very good question let me see here is canva mostly or only to be used to create posts or can it Ooh, yes uh, or can it be used to do newsletters yes you can do newsletters on canva i personally don't have a lot of experience making newsletters but i believe there are specific templates for newsletters if you go to the homepage and search templates newsletters, um, I do believe they have a lot of really good newsletter templates. Uh, they also have flyers, um, which Sharon asked. Um, flyers, posters, newsletters, 
all kinds of things. You can make business cards on here. You can make greeting cards on here. This is a really cool site. Um, and it's mostly free, which is the best part. Um, are there restrictions of what is free and what is paid for? That is a really good question. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I was going through the, uh, for example, the elements here. So if I search like cart, um, there will be some of these that have, I'm trying to find them. Okay, this one. Um, so if I hover over it in the bottom right, it says pro with a little crown. That means that you have to have the paid version of Canva to use this graphic. Uh, it's really annoying sometimes, but as you can see, any of these without the little crown are free. So there's you have a lot of options still. Um, so if it's not in your budget or you just don't really care to pay for something like this, then it's still re really accessible if you're using the free version. And um, that's another thing I really like about Canva. And I can't find the chat box. One second. <laughs> there we go. Um, the angular nature of the meet the leaders pages. Is that a template or a frame that is angled? Um, so the meet the leaders post started out as a template and I just altered it. Um, so this template had the frame in it that had that um, jagged angular type shape to it and I just dragged the pictures into it and those lines held um so it did come like that if that was the question uh can we harvest images from the national website I have done that before so I'm gonna say yes <laughs> I believe they're on the national website there's a style guide from national yes I have that style guide. Yes, I know it exists. There is a style guide from the AUW National um, talking about branding guidelines um, to follow in terms of social media and making stuff like this. Uh, so if any of you have access to that, I would recommend reading it because yes. Let's see. Yes, Don says that um, the newsletter has free websites where images can be found. Uh, can you show us how to use the filter on Google for finding Creative Commons images? Yes. Um, just let me look through the rest of these. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Um, let me see here I have to stop sharing this page or can you guys see that I just opened another tab on Google uh -huh. yes okay that helps thank you okay so let's go to Google images so we're on Google images um this tools over here Click that, and then it opens this weird little toolbar down here. You're going to go to Usage Rights and hit the drop-down menu, and you're going to hit Creative Commons Licenses. So then all of these photos are public domain. Also, I just remembered another place to find really good public domain photos is Flickr. Um, I assume that some of you might be on Flickr already, so that's another good one. Um, so yeah, let's say... I looked up Valentine's. No. Um, heart. <laughs> so then if I want to make sure that none of these will get me sued for using them, you're going to go to tools, usage rights, creative commons licenses. It'll refresh the page for you. And these are all public domain. So that's a really easy way to get those kinds of photos. Let's see. Okay, does anyone else have any other questions or things you want me to show you about Canva? I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head, if I'm honest. Is it free? Um, Sharon, are you talking about Canva? There were a lot of other conversations going on in the chat, so I wasn't sure. Yes, okay, 
Um, Canva is free. There is a paid version of it. Um, but like I said, uh, the free version is really accessible and easy to use if you're not paying for it. Uh, so I highly recommend the free version of Canva. I love it. There's only a few reasons that I would pay for the pro version. Um, yes, I can show the newsletter designs. Let me see if I can find them. So what will you design today? Let's see if I can search newsletter. Yeah, so came up with a bunch of sh suggested newsletter templates. Um, so they have a lot of really cute ones. And you can probably also just put in newsletter. Oh, yeah, create a blank newsletter. Uh, so you can just click that and start from scratch, or you can pick one of these and edit it to your specifications. Um, as you can see, if you hold your cursor down, some of them have multiple pages, and it'll scroll, scroll through them for you. Um, yeah. Oh, also, I just thought of something else I can show you. Let me see. I'm going to go to one of my random projects here. Yeah. Um, so another little useful tool is here. You can duplicate your page. Um, so for a lot of my posts for Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn and such, I make these like multi-paged ones. So if you're interested in doing that, or if you're, for example, making the newsletter and you want to keep all the formatting from the first page and you just want to edit it and you don't want to have to recreate that first page by adding all of the old stickers and such, if that makes sense, you can hit this duplicate page button and it'll just create a copy and you can just edit off of there instead of having to, you know, find the logo and make it the same size as the other pages and um, finding this little shape and, you know, changing the font and everything. Uh, and if you decide you don't want another page, you can just delete it. So that's something nifty there. Um, let me check on the chat again. Is it available for Mac? Uh, yes, I'm using this on a Mac right now. Yes. Um, it's just a website, by the way. It's not an application for your computer. You don't have to download anything. Um, there is a smartphone app for Canva, if any of you are inter interested in that. Um, it's a lot easier to use on the computer, in my opinion, but if you're ever on the go and you have to edit something really quickly, then the mobile version is good for that. Um, how do you save your item? That is a really good question. One moment. So say this is your post and you're done with it. You're going to hit this share button in the top right corner. And so it gives you the option to do a couple different things. Usually, since I work in a team with Nancy and Lisa, love, <laughs> um, I can type in their names to share this design. Um, and I can click on their name and send it to them so that they can also edit and look at this design and save it to their computer if they want. Um, so that's another really nifty tool. And so if you wanna save this to your computer, you're gonna hit download and it's gonna ask you what type of file you wanna save it as. Uh, usually for stuff like this, I would do PNG or JPEG. Either one is fine. Then you're gonna hit download and it's going to take a second to download. It'll show up on your desktop or wherever wherever you chose to save it. For mine, I save it on my desktop. Um, and what it's going to show up as is a zip file. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever seen that before, but uh, when I saw it for the first time, it kind of freaked me out. So I'm just going to make sure you know what it is. Um, so a zip file, you just double click on it and it creates another folder. I don't really know the schematics of how it works, but you just double click it. It creates another folder on your desktop. You open the folder and these images are gonna be inside that folder. Um, so that's what that is. It always saves as a zip file on my computer. So uh, don't be alarmed if you've never seen that before because that's I've been there. <laughs> uh, let me check on the chat and see if there's anything else. Uh, I use constant contact for our newsletter. How well did the two programs mesh? 
Uh, if anyone else knows the answer to this question, feel free to chime in. I, I don't know what constant contact is. Um, so, yes. Uh, does anyone else have any questions or would you like to see me show anything else? Zip files use. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Okay, does anybody have any questions for Emily? Okay. Oh, okay. got another one coming in. Have you done any threefold flyers? I've never done a threefold flyer. I think there are templates for threefold flyers in here if you want me to search for one. Um, let me see. Ah. Oh, <laughs> they have a little origami. Um, hmm. I think I saw it said brochure. So I think they have those, yeah, where they can fold three ways. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily what you were looking for, but this is similar um what was that other question how do you save your item in your workspace so you can edit it later okay um so when you create a design on canva it automatically gets saved as a project on your little canva profile so to find it later this is just the home page right when you log into canva it's gonna be right down here in your recent designs. So these are all the things that I've recently opened. Um, if it's an older design that you wanna look back on, usually they're like all right here, but also you can go to projects and it has everything you've ever done, all of the images that I have saved are on here as well. Uh, I also sometimes will put things into little folders on here so that I can find them later. Um, that's another fun little tool. But yeah, that's how you find something that you've been working on previously. So it's similar to Google in that you don't save? Yes. Just, yeah, it saves it, it for you. Basic. Okay. But if you wanted to save it in a folder here, that's part of the options that you brought up there or they yes. used down, that you showed download? Okay. Yes. And also, um, if you hover over any of these, there's this ellipses right here. You can hit uh -huh. move to folder. Uh -huh. And then you can just select any pre-made folders or create a new folder down here. Um, you can also download or share from this page right here with the ellipses instead of fully clicking on the post and um, hitting the share button. It's all right here as well. Okay, this looks like fun. It is fun. <laughs> time, I really time, like it. Time sucker, you know? Yes. <laughs> using a lot of time. No, this looks like a great tool. I'm I'm not surprised it's gotten a lot of attention lately. <clears throat> Does anybody have any further questions for Emily while she's here? She's welcome to stay as well. Um, if not, um, feel free to unmute yourself if you do want to state it instead of writing it in chat right for now. And if there aren't any further questions, then we'll move on to the other piece of our, our meeting, which is where we do some open forum. So one thing I wanted to mention was next month, we're planning hopefully to have the, the talk on, um, by the way, thank you, Emily, appreciate you and all that you've shown us. You, you're very good at going through that and it's very clear. So thank you so much for joining us and, and you're welcome. To show us these things. Okay. Um, so next month, we're hoping to have the SharePoint, I'm not SharePoint, the um, website tool, site resources that National provides. Um, and we're hopefully by Linda um, Slater. And so hopefully she'll be able to present that this next month. And we'll be able to um, dig into the differences between, I think there's two different options on how to um, use, how to sign up for site resources. One where they actually post um, things for you, um, but you have to provide the content. 
um, or you do the posting yourself and they just provide the, um, the website template, if you will, and you do most of the maintenance yourself. But she should be able to go through both of those options and um, show you what she knows about it and who to contact to find out further information and so forth. So we've been waiting for that for a little bit and I hope um, that'll be a good topic for you guys to join us for next month. Uh, Sharon, I see your hand raised. So um, on the Branch to Branch newsletter, there was a comment that, that um, National was postponing rolling out new website formats to the branches mm -hmm. and that was the first that I knew that they were planning on rolling out new because the the current uh template that they allow us to use was created in 2012 so it's mm -hmm. yeah it pretty much sucks and <laughs> we've been we've been looking at paying for our own um domain name and hiring uh, somebody yeah. to create the web um, presence for us because the, the tools that we have available on the national thing are awful. So mm -hmm. is that true that they're planning on giving it? Cause then I'm like, well, then we'll postpone going out and getting something brand new if they're actually going to be giving us something better than what we've got right now. I don't have any specifics on what they're going to be providing, but it's been pushed out so many times. I wouldn't hold my breath. Oh. Um, so, um, but we can wait. Maybe Linda has further information or can get further information on that, but um, not quite sure. So um, I think Sandy is also in touch with um, National more than I am. And I could probably pose that question to her as well when she, when she thinks that might be available. And what the extent of it is. Okay, thank you. I'll ask her. Okay, so um, any other questions or issues that you're having that um, you want to bring forward to the group? Maybe somebody has experienced it before. You're all ready to go use Canva and be able to <laughs> <No>. <laughs> create. Okay, Mary, you have your hand raised. Uh, yeah, does in that same newsletter that Sharon was uh, referencing, they mentioned the um, fund donations uh, report coming out. Is is that supposed to be coming out next week? Because we haven't gotten the final end of the year one. Um, from what I understand, it's supposed to. Um, Usually, in my experience, it comes out in March. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. still be, you know, but uh, maybe, maybe in February. Yeah, you might be a little premature in February, especially with the struggles they're having. So if you can wait till March. Um, well, I kind of, I kind of have no choice since <laughs> I can't find it myself, right? That's true. Good point. <laughs> um, what, what struggles are they having? Just losing staff or is it financial <laughs> not being able to keep them? I don't know what the, the crux of it is. I know that they're they are low on staff, but I don't know the details as to why. Okay. So that's been true for quite a quite a while now. So I think the check processing has been slow too. Donations mm -hmm. sent by check. Absolutely. Yeah. Process, you know, process slowly. So they need to include everything that was, you know, received by the end of December. And I don't know if that's happened or whether that might be. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have a direct line into national at all. So I'm not sure what their struggles are other than I've heard many, many times that they're understaffed, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which has been showing up as late or non deliverables. So um, other than that, I don't have any specifics for you. Okay, Peg, you have your hand raised. Yeah, does anybody know when we might get the new red logo with our branch names underneath it? Uh, it just, it's, it's been talked about for a long, long time. It's been mm -hmm. out for a long time, but I never hear a schedule for when right. that might be done. That's a similar thing. Um, it's also on the, in the branch branch newsletter as well, um, or the board to board, sorry. Um, that's also 
coming soon, <laughs> but there's no dates assigned to anything really that I'm aware of, unless anybody here knows of any. Thanks. Well, you can certainly make your own. As I was just going to say that. The yeah. Simple branches. Just take the original one that is on the national website and then put your own branch's name underneath it. Is it um, something we can screen, uh, scrape off the national website or is there actually a place on the national website that is accessible to us, not a SharePoint place where you have to sign in, but some other place where the red logo is available? Yes, I just mm -hmm. sent it. I just sent a, I put a link in the, in the, uh, in the chat box and you go to state and branch tools on the national and then it says resources at the ready and then if you scroll down there's a download aauw logos and branding materials um it's pretty much down the page a ways but it is but it is there is that uh sharon when i clicked on that um Here's the link at National for Colors and Logos. It said it required a sign in. Oh. It's on SharePoint, so it requires a sign in. Maybe you have that. But... Um, well, you should be able to create a sign in. Oh, but okay. It's that easy? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, I mean, I've only been the president since, <laughs> I've only been on the board since December. <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm in there now, so I don't, I don't know if I, if it's signing me in or what. Let me see if I can get there. But I had to go in and, and search for, um, cause it, I didn't, I don't know where it is in the drop down menus. The, mm -hmm. the, the search function on the national website is atrocious. Yeah. yeah. So that that but contributes to the on, problems. I searched earlier on logos, and it took and it one of the things it took me to was the state and branch tools. Yeah, it'll take yeah. you to a lot of the old logos. Yeah. It just doesn't take you to the new ones. That, no, but these are the new, these are the new ones. Can you share? Can you share your screen, Sharon? I just want to because I I had to be I had to log in as well. So. Okay, I'm I'm following your guideline of resources at the ready, so I'm looking around in there. So yeah, I can share my screen. Just curious what it. So it's got the new stuff in it. So so you originally got there through the website. You got. So there um, is my screen resources at the ready, and then you scroll down to download AAUW logos and branding material. Oh. Okay, I didn't. Yeah, you want to go back a page when you can. Oh, sorry. Went too fast. Well, it's, it's, not lo it's not loading either. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking its time. Okay, so yeah. So, so the scroll up. How did you get there? The top of the page says governance mm -hmm. and tools, state and branch tools. And then it says resources at the ready everything you need to do and there's okay. all kinds of stuff so for that the download let's see if it see if it's downloading now because when i tried to i can get it to open that page i don't know why it was it was opening when I was doing it. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. So it has the AAUW co color palette here. Oh, cool. And yeah. It has a little color. Okay. All right. I'll look in that. Thank you. Yeah, and actually, Julica just put the link to the um, governance tools, state branch, just exactly what okay. we're looking at. Okay. okay. Thanks. Something right, that they put in board to board quite frequently is if you Google something, AAUW and then like logos, and you go, you just don't even go on to the website until after you Googled it. You often will get there sooner. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've 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 have found that site before. Are those images, and maybe I'm just not tech enough on it able to be manipulated? 
to be able to be resized because they don't they're they're way they're way too big yes you can resize I them. Think so yeah i resized them because i my first job this year before i i, I ended up being president when our president resigned um was doing the directory and i downloaded the the new logo onto the front of the directory and i resized it Okay, so just standard, like expanding the, catching the little. Well, whatever. it's a pic. Well, no, it's a yeah. picture, and you open it and Google um, in your pictures, and then you right click on it and you say you want to resize it, and it'll and it'll give you choices. You it'll say, do you want to resize it for an email? Do you want to resize it for a print document? Oh, and okay, then, all right. And then, then I, it takes a picture. It's all right. So, then I. Right, then I have There's to do a, a little more. Or you can, or you can do it because mo moving the uh, the border, you'll end up with a, it. Yeah, I, it, it messes up the ratios. Okay, so I'll Correct. have to find yeah. out how I want it. Okay. And if we wanted to edit it, like Randa was saying, putting our branch name in it, um, that's another thing. I wonder if you right clicked on it if it allowed you to edit. But well, I would do that in Canva. Can put right, put Take it, it into Canva. And then put then put the text under mm -hmm. put a text box underneath. Yeah. And, okay. And that just gave me the the idea that I'm going to go and do that. And then save it <laughs> the whole thing together. Mm hmm. Okay. That sounds good. And most of the things on, on the logos you're going to want to save it to JPEG, and then you can do anything with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Anything else anybody can has having troubles with that needs help? Okay, that's all I had for today. Um, next time, hopefully site resources, which I think um, we've all been waiting for, at least to get that straightened out and whether it actually will work for your branch website or not. And I will talk to Sandy about, um, Sandy Gabe, about what she knows if anything, about when they plan on delivering um, both things from national, you know, the, um, the logo, the branch logos, if we don't do it ourselves, and also um, the branch websites, you know, what's going to change the templates. So I'll check with her and we'll get that out to you when I get an answer. And with that, I'll let you guys go unless you have anything else you want to talk about. All right. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank have you. Good evening. Thank Bye. you. Did you stop the recording? <laughs>